Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover. Today we are going to be talking about what is provided to us. Now, not going to waste any time, we are just going to hop straight into the verse. And the verse that we have is uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. It says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, Imagine this. You're poor, okay? You're there's this poor guy, you know, probably has like a few cents, you know, maybe even a dollar if he's lucky. And there is a really rich, wealthy person. Now, what happens if this really rich, wealthy person is more of a person that is willing to take care of people? So he sees this homeless person, you know, this poor person, maybe they're not homeless, maybe they do have a home, but, you know, they're just barely holding on. And this rich person is saying, you know, that person needs some help. So what do they do? They provide for that person what they have, you know, what they have, they provide to that person so that they can, you know, gain their ground again. And with God, it's the same thing. You know, we are poor, you know, in certain areas of our life, and God enriches us, you know, physically, mentally, you know, monetarily. And God provides for us these things so that we can gain our ground again. Now, if you're poor... And you pray that God provides some, you know, money for you or even a job, you know, then God will provide that for you so that you can gain your ground again. Now, God is a very honest God. He is a very truthful God. He is a very dependable God. Everything that he says he's going to do, he will do it. His word never returns in vain. He never goes back on what he says. You know, everything that he says, he is going to fulfill it. He's going to go through with it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and God is just like this rich man that is providing for this, um, this poor person. God may not provide, you know, money for you because you're already good with money. But maybe you need something else. Maybe you need something like mentally, you know, maybe you need to be a little more mentally stable. God will provide a mentally sound mind. And God will provide these things because of how much he cares for us. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. And, I mean, everybody knows that verse, but it's true. You know, God sent his one and only son, to die for us. And all we need to do to go to heaven is believe that and have a relationship with him. It's, it's as easy as that. It's that simple. Isn't that simple? It's pretty simple. You know, it's not, you know, how much good you do. You know, you're not a perfect person. You can't go to heaven by being perfect because you aren't perfect. You've messed up sometime in your life, and you have to pay for that. And the payment for that is death. So, God made a way for us to, you know, be with Him in heaven. But, going back to uh, provision, you know, God will supply, as it says here, uh, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Um, God, or actually let me say it like this. In the Bible, if you've read the, um, the Lord's Prayer, one part of it says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. See now, up in heaven the streets are gold. You know, the gates and stuff are made of pearl. The walls, the walls that fortify heaven, you know, are made of multiple different layers of just so many gems. And it's, you know, it literally looks 
like a rich person's home. You know, and God is the creator of everything. God created money, you know, so that means that he can give you whatever he wants. Doesn't mean you know how he's going to give it to you. God, I don't think it's that God is really going to make some money magically appear into your hand and you're just going to be mind blown and you're going to be like, whoa, this is amazing. Money just popped into my hand. Now I can go pay off my taxes you know, pay off my bills. God isn't going to do that, really. I mean, I don't know if he has, but I don't think he would. And more so, God would use other people to help you in certain things. Now, continuing with the example of money, you know, if you needed money then God could use someone to help you get that money. Or, you know, maybe just give you money. You know, maybe you need money, like, almost immediately because you have something that you need to pay off. You know, or else you're going to get evicted or you're going to lose your car or, you know, whatever the case is. Um, God could do that. Or sometimes, God could provide a job for you. Someone could call you and be like, hey, man... Um, you know, maybe one of your friends has this job opportunity for you and they're like, hey man, uh, this job opportunity just opened up. Would you like to come in, um, be interviewed? And, you know, maybe God could provide a job for you that will provide a good amount of money that can help you. Um, now let's say example of, let's say, or excuse me, let's say an example of money. Now, or I already said that, uh, Let's say an example of mentally. Now, God could use someone to help you mentally, but sometimes God could just transform your mind. You know, transform the way that you think, transform everything. You know, once you give your life fully to God, God has free reign over your whole mind, body, everything. You know? And don't think is that just because, you know, you gave him, you know, everything about you. It doesn't mean is that he's going to literally like, marionette you around, you know, like, puppet you all over the place, you know, God gave us free choice, and God wants us to make those decisions, you know, but it is up to us to listen to him, and when we listen, it's not like a little pat on the back, congratulations, you know, it's not like that kind of thing where it's controlling, more so, it's if you do it, good things are going to happen to you, you know? So, with this all being said, Josiah, would you like to give us the verse of this week? The verse of this week is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. It is saying to put God first in your life, and he will give you everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, kind of going back to the... Um, God, you know, being like the rich person, you know, providing for us, you know, he provides for us everything that we need, you know, everything. You ask for it, he'll give it to you, you know, but again, one, not on his, or not on your time, it's on his time. Sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't always seem like his time is the best timing, you know, but he always knows the best time. He knows the perfect time. And... Another thing is his will, you know, if it's his will, then he'll do it, you know, by all means, you know, but sometimes he won't do it and he is going to do something else, you know, to help you even more, you know, God isn't going to do something, you know, instead of what you asked for, that's going to make your life, you know, not as good as what you thought it would be. God is going to make it even better possibly than what you've asked for. So, with this all being said, uh, we are going to give an opportunity for people to have a relationship with Jesus. So as I said earlier, you know, um, if you accept Jesus in your life, you go to heaven. You know, it's not by your good works, just by having a relationship with him. It's that simple, you know? So, if you want that, then I want you to say this prayer with us. Dear Lord, I thank you for everything that you've done. 
I thank you for the good and the bad because I know that everything works for your good. Dear Lord, I pray that you guide me throughout my days. That you lead me down the right path. That you make me new, dear Lord. Refresh my mind. I pray that you give me your Holy Spirit. That you bless me throughout my days, dear Lord. I pray that you fire up your Holy Spirit in me. Dear Lord, I believe that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins and everybody else's. In Jesus' name, amen. Have you said that prayer? Congratulations, welcome to the family of God. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that to stay up to date with everything that we're doing. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. We hope you have a wonderful, blessed, fantastic, amazing night, day, evening, whichever it is for you. And...